So continuing on with our look at transparent materials in Maxwell, we want to discuss dispersion and the ABBA number. Directly below the K value here, you can see that we have the ABBA number, and we can't access this right now. It's, it's grayed out, even though we're working with a transparent object. And this is just regular glass. It's standard regular glass. The way that we gain access to this ABBA number is by going up to Material Properties and enabling dispersion. Now, the first thing that you should know about dispersion is that dispersion is going to increase your render time. And therefore, it is not recommended to use dispersion when you're trying to get something done quickly. However, if you're looking for maximum beauty, not much beats dispersion. What is dispersion? Well, dispersion is the effect that I talked about early on when I was talking about what is an ND. The idea being that when light enters into an object, it's bent. And different wavelengths of light are bent at different degrees. So dispersion shows the breakdown of what we would conceive as white visible light into what we would normally think of as a rainbow. You see this effect a lot with prisms. And it's going to depend largely on the ABBA number. So now once we've enabled dispersion, if we go back, you can see now we have access to this ABBA number. So these two materials that I have in part one, Taste the Rainbow, is dispersion enabled and regular glass. And you can look at the differences, but the major difference is I just enabled dispersion like I just showed you and went in and set the ABBA number for 35, which is, I think, the default that it comes at. And you're not going to see a huge, huge difference here right away. However, what I did then is I took all those materials and I just adjusted the ABBA number accordingly. So we have an ABBA number of 5, 10, 15, so on and so forth, up to about 55. Anything over, say, 60 to 70, you're really not going to see much of that rainbow effect. So you're really going to want to go ahead and keep that ABBA number low in order to be able to utilize that rainbow effect. So here we have the ABBA number set for 5, and you can see that rainbow effect is, is very strong. And if we go over here to 10, you can see that it's not quite as strong. Now, I should note that these are not necessarily really realistic settings in the sense that Generally speaking, the higher the ND of an object is, the lower the ABBA number will be. So these low ABBA numbers with standard glass, really not going to happen. The ABBA type of dispersion is going to be a product of very dense glass, what they call high flint glass usually is, is what is going to create a lot of that. Diamonds are also a very dense form of dielectric, and because of that, they're going to have a high ABBA number as well. But I just wanted you to see what the ABBA number actually does. By decreasing it, you're going to get more and more of this rainbow effect where it's breaking down that white light into sort of that rainbow effect. And as we get higher and higher, you'll see less and less of that until the point here where you almost see none of it. So this is a very subtle effect at this point. I don't know that it's worth the extra render time that it incurs by having dispersion enabled. It's really minimal here on the ABBA 55. So I would say that if you're going to use it, use it for it, you know, the purpose that it's meant for and really show it off. Somewhere right around here, I, I'd say 40, 35 is going to give you a good starting point. Down lower, you're probably going to get an unrealistic results unless you're doing something like a diamond or something. So that's ABBA and dispersion. And we'll see more of that in future lessons.